Hi, James from NCC here. Today we're going to quickly be doing a testing on our power supply. Uh, I know I did a power supply test last year as well. Today we're going to be a little bit quicker about it uh, using a multimeter and I'll be showing you my brand new power supply tester. Uh, before we continue, I just want to add a graphic in here uh, with a pinout. From the pinout you'll be able to see that there's various wires on my 24 pin power plug. Orange is 3.3 volts, red 5 volt, the purple one which is my standby also 5 volt, uh, my yellow one is 12 volt and then lastly the blue one which is the only negative one which is minus 12 volt. Uh, when testing a power, uh, the power supply we need to keep certain tolerances in mind. Um, what I'll do is I'll add the tolerances right here. As you can see from the graphic, all the pins except for the blue one or the negative 12 is plus or minus 5 volts. And for the negative 12 one, which was pin 14, uh, we do have a minus or plus or minus 10 volts tolerance. Right, looking at my multimeter, again, multimeter has got two leads, a black one and a red one. Black one is a negative. Red one, positive. Multimeter, it has a dial. Uh, some of them might have an analog readout. This one is a digital. This one will me measure uh, voltage DC, what, what, what we'll be measuring today. We can also measure AC. AC is what goes into our power supply. We can also measure amperage and also resistance. Right, so mine is set at 20 because 20 is roughly well, just above what we'll be testing today. Okay, so to test the power supply, we need a paper clip. We're going to bend it in a U shape and we'll be connecting it to our power plug. Now, as you can see, there's the green wire. We'll be connecting the green, which is our power on, and we'll be bridging it with any of the ground wires. All right, so once we've got that connected, Okay, once we have that connected or bridged out, uh, we can connect power to our power supply. Right, I switch it on and the fan is automatically spinning. Fan that's spinning doesn't mean power supply is good. That's why we test it. Right, so let me just make an adjustment here. Right, hopefully you can see clearly. What we will do is I will be connecting my uh, negative lead onto any of the ground wires there and let me summer test orange wire as you can see there it's 3.16 voltage uh, a red wire there as you can see that's 5.16 and a yellow wire there is it yellow nope, that's not yellow that's yellow 11.59 volts and I can also test the blue one and I should get a negative reading of minus 10.83 voltage so if my readings are within the uh, 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 voltage range for my specific tolerance I can consider this power supply to be good right I'm just going to switch off here and I'll be showing you my brand new power supply tester. All right, and as you can see here, there's my power supply tester. Hopefully you can see it clearly. Uh, it has a 24 pin power connector for my power supply. On the other side, we have a, um, a four pin or an eight pin connector for our power. We have a six pin connector for our PCI Express for our display cards, those that has fancy display cards. I do have one here for, uh, let me just show it like that, for a floppy drive, should you have a floppy drive, a Molex connector, and also for my SATA power connector. All right, so how does this thing work? So we plug in our, our 24 pin power, now my power supply has got a 8 pin 
uh, 12 volt connector that I connect onto the 12 volt side and I simply switch it on. All right, so let's hopefully we can get it. All right, so it beeps. Let me just see if it comes into focus. Ah, oh, Zane. Right. Now, as you can see there, there's all the readings. None of them are flashing. So I'm typically good, especially if my readings are all within the normal tolerance range. Right. Now, if I wanted to test my, uh, my SATA power, I would hook it up onto the power side, switch on my power supply, and, well, it seems like I've got it upside down. Let's try it the other way around. All right. Switch it on again. Ah, as you can see there, the three lights comes on, and it's the 12 volt, 3.3 volts, and my 5 volt. They're all on, indicating that my power from my SATA power connector is good. All right. Now, that is as easy as it gets testing a power supply. Now these power supply testers, it's quite hot, difficult to come by. Uh, I ordered mine online, took about eight weeks for it to arrive. I see that more and more PC shops are keeping stock of these. So uh, if you find one, definitely a good tool to use. If you like this video, subscribe. See you again in the next video.